drum roll please because name a more dynamic duo than wormwood and mugwort please watch out and be careful when you ingest either of these herbs or consume them in any way because they are both toxic and contain thujone in it which can cause convulsions and seizures no herb is able to replace another, but if there are any that are close to replacing each other, it would be these two. So if you're missing, you know, wormwood in a spell or mugwort in a spell, you can replace either or for either or, or you can just go ahead and use all of it, both of it. I'm going to be talking about mugwort first. Mugwort is ruled by the moon and it is used for all psychic spells, divination, psychic enhancement lunar magic of any kind, and sometimes for love spells. Some people use mugwort for protection, but I don't prefer to do that. Figured I would tell you guys anyways. Please be careful when you do that though. I recommend if you're gonna use it for protection to use it with a white candle because I've seen people have some weird reactions with doing wormwood and mugwort on black candles, but to each their own. Mugwort is one of my favorite to ingest for receiving vivid dreams the same night the only thing about mugwort though is that some people when they try to ingest herbs for spiritual dream work mugwort tends to give apocalyptic and armageddon type dreams so if you're looking to have different types of dreams i would experiment with either or wormwood is ruled by mars it is what people use to make absinthe which is also known as the green fairy wormwood is typically used for psychic enhancement astral projection visions spirit work and even in some cases protection specifically protection while traveling or for your vehicle but I recommend using wormwood with other herbs to protect your vehicle or protect you while you travel instead of just wormwood alone. Wormwood is also commonly used to summon and work with spirits as well as communing and divining with spirits. Both mugwort and wormwood help thin the veil, so to speak, and help you communicate better with spirits on the other side as well as amplifying any scrying or divination tools. So some people also make tea out of wormwood and mugwort and wipe down their crystal balls, their scrying mirrors, um, and sprinkle their tarot decks with it. Overall, I recommend both of these herbs to help with psychic enhancements and enhancing your psychic abilities, working with your psychic abilities, opening your third eye. People are always asking how can they help strengthen their third eye and pretty much working with a lot of this and practicing. Thanks for watching.